everyone, Wonderbricks here with another video. So today I'll be showcasing and giving my final thoughts about the Nano Block Pokemon Sinnoh Starter Pokemon. So in this collection you have NBPM 077 Turtwig, the grass starting Pokemon, then NBPM 078 Chimchar, the fire starter, and lastly NBPM 079 Piplup, the cute little water Pokemon. So all of these nano block sets are very easy to build, they all look the part, you can definitely tell who they are if you have played any of the Pokemon games. So building these models, they all took between 25 to 30 minutes each to complete the build and cost me $15 Australian each from EB Games. The instructions for the models are just your normal nano block stuff with an inventory of parts needed at the top of the page. Then under that you have the steps to complete the build. Like I have said many times in my previous videos, I wish they would include an inventory needed for each step. They have done it before so I don't see why they can't include it in all of their models. It would make the build so much easier and smoother to build. When you are building these models I highly recommend you use the nano block building pad. It helps out so much with the first few layers of each build. The nano block tweezers also help out but for these models it is not needed as much but it still does help out a little bit. So these models are a great addition to my nano block Pokemon I have. I highly recommend them. Well next Friday I'll be releasing my last video for the year and that will be nano blocks CN21 SpongeBob SquarePants. So if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you want to see me review anything next year leave a comment. I have a few Star Wars models I have to build. Then I was looking at getting the Sonic set, but let me know in the comments anyway. Well, thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in the next video. Wonderbricks out.